Hello everyone, this is Troy from Hello Rabbit Studio, and welcome to Get Good. Now I'm doing this program or this exercise or this series of videos to try and get better at art because, quite frankly, I kind of suck at it. Um, Plague of Gripes recently said in one of his videos that you don't get better at art just because time passes. You get better by trying new things. So I went on DeviantArt and found Joey Vasquez, and this is his amazing work on the screen right now. I am going to try and replicate it. Now I'm also really bad at recording my efforts, so yeah, if anyone knows of something better than XSplit, can you please comment in the comment section below? Let me know, I'd rather not have this happen again. Now it doesn't last forever, uh, I do clean up the footage, it will come. Anyways, my first lesson throughout doing this thing was to be patient. You know, like when I first started off, it's a blank white page, it's quite intimidating because you can do anything. You can mess up anything. I mean, where does your first line go in the first place? So I try to jump in usually and get past it right away, which ends up crippling me further down the line because when you get to the detail work, you really don't want to be looking back and trying to fix really fundamental things like where the arm should be, if the arm is drawn right, if it's proportional. Yeah, it should be worried about the details. So this time around, I emphasize more of an iterative kind of process where you kind of do simple circles and lines as a starting sketch and refine it bit by bit, line by line, gradually working past that ugly stage, which is kind of tough at first, but yeah, you, when you're in the ugly stage of a drawing, you think it will last forever. It won't if you're persistent, but you think it will. Anyways, the next lesson would be to pay attention to detail. As you can see here, um, the small little lines around the neck really bring out something about it, bring out a sense of depth that wouldn't be there otherwise. Now going back to Plague's last video, he mentioned zooming in really close to work on details, which I kind of agree with now that I've done this. Um, it's tedious. It's really tedious. But it's worth it. Now, you won't really know this because I've sped up the footage, but this took several hours for me to complete. Mostly because it's my first time doing line art that's this kind of this detailed and this um, well, well done. Not by my part, I mean copying someone else's really well done art like line art. Anyways, uh, thank goodness for Photoshop's layers because doing this spider emblem would have been really tough without it. And this brings us to another lesson, uh, boldness. Using really bold black colors like this, I usually never do it. I try to avoid it because I'm kind of scared of messing it up. Because it is really quite easy to do it wrong. When you're using such dark colors, and I guess it's really necessary when you're doing line art, you kind of have to, you have a propensity to mess up if you're not experienced. As you can see here, I'm making changes as I go along as well. Anyways, Joey Vasquez's work really uses black lines and black shapes well. As you can see here, uh, coming up right here, right here, um, there's a lot of illusion of depth around Spider-Man's muscles. These black shapes, I'm doing it wrong by the way, I'm putting in the black shadows right away and instead of trying to think about where they should be in the first place, you know, trying to position them in a way that makes sense. I'm just kind of copying Joey's work. <sighs> I'm such a noob. Anyways, Joey probably did the cross-hatching and um, the detail planning first. Um, the way I do it works, but it wouldn't have been possible if it was me plan like trying to draw it up from nothing in the first place. Like, who would be able to plan this out so... plan it out and draw it at the same time? It makes really no sense, and um, at least not for someone that's not as talented as, as you can see here for me. Um, so yeah. That's another lesson, you know, confidence and boldness really does come from planning things out properly. Uh, the end product will benefit immensely from just the process. So the next lesson would be hands. These hands are a lot more angular than I tend to draw things. Um, maybe because I handle, uh, what do you call it, curves a little bit better than angular lines like this, but it was a really big lesson in terms of how to make something believable. How to make something believable, even if it's not necessarily representative of something realistic. And that really is the case here. When you draw something, you don't always want to draw something um, realistic, photorealistic. 
Uh, that's the benefit of drawing. It's something made up. If you can get something like a, a bold line here that's angular and impossible in real life, but it evokes a certain kind of movement, then all the better for it, right? I mean, Spider-Man does some crazy shit, basically, and he does that because he's not real. Sorry to break it to you. So, um, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. The commentary, I mean. Doing it for the first time, I can see why Pat, um, Matt, Wooly, and Liam, uh, Plague, all of you guys are so, um, much more popular than I am because you guys are way better at this than I am. Anyways, uh, working on Spider-Man's shoes here, it's a little bit weird. I don't know why they went with, like, traction. I have to wonder how Spider-Man grips the wall. I mean, maybe it's just the movie, movie's influence on me, but... I always thought that Spider-Man used those little things that came out of his hands and feet to latch onto the wall. Anyways, I'm getting distracted here by stupid movies and Sam Raimi. Ugh. So here I've kind of tried to adopt more of a I'm planning things out uh, process where I look at the muscle and I try to understand why Joey's done the things he's done, why he's used cross-hatching cross here and like why the lines are positioned in a certain way. And really it's about the depth and about the shadow and about where the light should be coming from and how it plays against uh, Spider-Man's super shiny latex suit. I mean, it really does look like latex now because of how, again, how bold and dark those colors are and how angular they are and how the light seems to be bouncing off of something really, really shiny. And yeah, so it's coming across a lot better than his arms. And I think it's largely to do because do with having taken the time to really look at where the cross action should be, why it's there, what it emphasizes, and what it creates in terms of illusion. What, it, what kind of uh, depth it uh, conveys. So yeah, look at that. Kneecaps and everything. Um, this is the difficult part about all this. It's that you're so zoomed in that it can be difficult to get a sense of whether you're doing things right sometimes. So, you know, it, it's always this back and forth of taking your time to look at what you're doing on the micro level, zooming out to see if it plays out well on the macro level, and always, always, always being okay to ditch things that don't work. I mean, if you see what I'm doing here, I'm almost constantly just going over things and then redoing them because, well, they're not good enough. And oh, oh. This was a really tough part for me because up until this part, it's been very angular lines. The webbing is so simple in terms of lines, but so difficult because if you overdo it, it comes out looking like a solid mass, which it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be light and, well, almost like a rough, light and rough. Um, so doing it, so doing the lining and doing the um, line work on this webbing was really helpful in discovering how to make something simple. How to keep something simple. Uh, thank goodness again for Photoshop. Uh, the layers saved my life. Anyways, here's the comparison between my work and Joey Vasquez's work. Now you can see that his work is much more confident in its line, in its line work. Uh, the line weight is all a little bit more better considered than mine. Uh, there's a lot more purpose in the movement. Uh, it seems like things flow a little bit better in terms of like where Joey's Spider-Man's head is going and where his body's being dragged along with it rather than mine where it's almost kind of like a static uh, position. Anyways, uh, I think it, things I've learned here is that uh, I'm not confident enough in my line work and it's coming across in the line weight. Like where I put the lines are just light and uh, I'm almost uncertain and hesitant. Um, honestly, I have a long way to go. I think I've missed a few bits of shading here and there because I didn't really understand where the light should be and what effect it would have on the muscle. But that's alright, that's a work in progress and I really hope to keep on improving. If you guys see things in this video that you know how to fix, uh, if you see things that you'd like to suggest to me uh, to help me improve, please do leave a comment below. I will be coming out with more of these projects in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and if not, um, sorry. If so, great. I'll see you guys later. This is Troy from Hell Rabbit Studio, signing off. Bye.